Hello folks and welcome back to Fallout 4. So on the last episode, uh, alongside going to a few locations I hadn't been, I was checking out some weapon mods I'd recently installed. Uh, and this is kind of a continuation of that. There's some other things down here in the south that I haven't done and uh, got a different selection of weapons to try out this time. Well, some of them I've tried before, more like just show. The first one is the Remington 1858. I also have an 1875, which I like a little more, but I figured uh, we'd show this one first. This one is the 1875. A few more pistols this time, as this is the Mauser C96. Again, I'll leave links to all these mods in the video description uh, if you want to try them yourself. And the Walther P38. Also, 1918 BAR. Pretty cool. The classic M1 Garand. This is a really nice mod, by the way. Car 98. This is actually a mod called the Mauser family. It adds um, like a base rifle and then you can turn it into like a Car 98, uh, a different model, or a Gewehr 98. And uh, so I just did it like this as a car. Then we've got a variant of the Caravan shotgun from Fallout New Vegas. I changed this one a little bit. It doesn't look exactly. You can make it look like it's from New Vegas, but uh, I just switched it up a little bit here. Pretty cool. And I can't remember if I've used this mod in this playthrough before, but this is the MP40, and I made it as uh, standard as I could. You can really make it unrealistically modified if you want to, but yeah. Anyways, I uh, I thought I'd been to this location before. It's Naponset Park, but apparently I hadn't. The, uh, the Meyer Lurks were still here and this door was locked, and uh, some of what's on the terminal here will lead me to the destination I wanted to go to first. So let's uh, check this out. From the desk of Charles Dieter Jr. So he has this, the silence before the storm. However, let's read the journal entries. Okay, so as you can see, these were written in uh, the few days leading up to the bomb. So October 19th. My argument with Carol delayed my arrival, but I got a pretty good view of the sunset from the road. Getting the generator and lamps going in the dark was a real pain. I guess city life made me soft. Don't remember my old man ever having to set up in the pitch black, but then again, I can't recall mom ever delaying the trip ever. But what you gonna do, huh? First year in this old cabin alone, or in the old cabin alone. The silence is just what I need. This kind of solitary should leave me free to work on the novel that's been kicking around in my head all these years. Gonna grab some shut eye and I'll get started in the morning. October 20th. Rose earlier than expected to the sounds of construction work. Seems like they've begun work on a rock quarry up the road since coming here last year. No matter, just a bump in the road. I can work through it. I'm sure Steinbeck and Hemingway didn't work in total silence. Surely I can work in this into the narrative somehow. Give the main character an edge. Yeah, that's the ticket. October 21st. God damn it. What kind of sweatshop are they running over there? They work into the late hours of the night. I can't escape their constant hammering and digging. When I get back to the city, I'm going to lodge a formal complaint. There's no way those are union hours. I can hear it now. Maybe if you were a better writer, you could work through it. Well, Carol, this is nothing compared to your banshee wails. If I can ignore your constant nagging, I can work through this. Back to the book. I'll deal with the quarry morons later. October 22nd. Ralph something ski. That was the foreman's name. I'm writing it here for my formal complaint. Something Polish. Eddie yelled right in my face and told me to get out of his. I hope the asshole falls into the quarry. I hope all of them do. Then maybe I can get some peace and quiet around here. Can't get it at home, that's for sure. Spent some time shooting cans off the picnic tables. Then I started taking out some crabs scurrying around the river. If I'd had a son, I could teach him how to shoot just like dad taught me. Instead, I only got daughters. Not good for anything, are you, Carol? Dear God, they're back at it again. Jesus, I can't stand this racket. What an asshole. <laughs> Okay, here's his masterpiece here. The Silence Before the Storm. Acknowledgement. To my wife, Carol, and my darling daughters, you are the source of my inspiration. Chapter 1. Dead at night, as the captain steered his ship, he... Chapter 2. Nothing. I'm gonna guess chapter 3 is nothing also. So yeah, he got pissed and, uh at the uh the quarry is where we're going the quincy quarry but uh i figured i'd read that here since it kind of connects to where we're going just curious if there's anything else around here i might have missed oh boy not gonna 
waste bullets on these things. I will waste a bullet on that, though. So my only complaint about the Remington 1858 and 1875 models is the, um, the sound effects are pretty generic. Not that they're bad. And the reload animation is a stock animation. Of course, they can't all be custom. I know it's hard work. I don't know how to make mods, but I'm just saying. I'm going to give your uh, weapon mods a little more flair. Give them some more unique custom sounds and uh, a special reload animation instead of these stock ones. Anyways, let's go to the quarry. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Okay, never mind. I thought I had missed something, but I don't think so. So, the, uh, Vault Tech Workshop DLC that adds Vault 88, uh, is in here. The vault is in here. But I'm not gonna go after that at the moment. Just here to explore the quarry for now. I've only actually tried making a vault with that DLC once, and, uh... <laughs> And, uh, it was more of a pain in the ass than it was fun, so. Um, I'm sure we'll do it again. I'll do it for this, you know, series at some point in the future. But, uh, yeah, wasn't really a fan of that DLC. I liked some of the items it added. Just gonna move along here. Cover if I can. Get a little closer. Some of these raiders are ghouls. Get over here a little closer. And here comes the rats. Thing, you get a headshot and it's nice and powerful. It's got pretty good damage to uh, begin with. Oh. Like I said on the last episode, none of these um, mod weapons are like they were when I initially got them. I've gone through a workbench and tweaked them. And uh, upgraded them how I wanted them and stuff. Okay, so that's the 1858. Now, since we're here, let's do the 75. There's not a ton of difference with these, I guess, but uh, I like this one a little bit better. Okay, these guys are below. They're like kind of at the entrance. This one I like a little more. Oh, there you are. Just using bats to, uh, there's Vault 88. Whoa, tough guy. Someone above me still. We're not going in there right now. Whoa, hello there. Sometimes Vance does some weird stuff. Well. 
worker somewhere here. they fell over and fell off the side. Yeah, some ghouls. What is that you got? Oh, that's one of the, um, the PTRS I got last time. Or the PTRS, PTRS I was showing last time. You can, uh, really mod it into a lot of different things. This is the variant. It wouldn't hurt to get hit by. The version I made has, like, 900 damage. It's ridiculous. It's got these crazy rounds in it. This one looks more modern. Okay, well, that's that for the revolvers. Let's go to the uh, German pistols. Now, this gun was in, uh, Mauser C96 was in Fallout 1. You got it from, uh, God, what's his name? The guy in Junktown. Uh, Gizmo. Didn't get much ammo for it, so it's like one of those guns you like never wanted to use because you never find ammo for it. I, I can't remember if it was in Fallout 2 and the other ones are not, but uh, anyways. There's obviously a version like it in Fallout 3 and New Vegas like the Chinese pistol. Scour through here real quick, see if there's anything worth taking. Beds, camps, ammo. Safe. Huh. Wow. A lot of ammo in there. Stun grenades. I said on the last episode that I added the knockout framework, which allows you to, along with a few other mods, will let you do like less than lethal stuff and, uh, you know, knock people out or you can be knocked out too, which I haven't really tried to too much extent yet. I still need to tweak the mod configuration and stuff. We'll try one of these times. I gotta collect some stuff to actually do uh, a good episode using less than lethal stuff. But there's like rubber bullets, stun Got grenades, it. and you can use like melee weapons and just knock people out. And things like that. Okay, I think we are done. Quincy Quarries. Let's get out of here. Oh, I still haven't been over to Murkwater. Uh, we should just go liberate that real quick since I'm down here. I already got the railroad it's one of the possible locations you can have the railroad, um, utilized settlement for their little safe house set up, but, uh, I already got that at Taffington Boathouse, so. And we here. Oh, sh- Okay. Did not even see him. So it's just a little plinker gun. It's not bad though for a pistol. Got a cool reload animation. Well, the reload animation is like a 10 millimeter pistol, but it works pretty well. field day shooting at this thing. Alright. Go over here. But yeah, this one's uh, nothing really too crazy to show off, but there you go. What it's like. Now let's use the Walther, which I think is kind of also similar in design with like, uh, well, we'll see. I mean, not design, not visual design, but like mod design. I do have a mod on that rebuilds some of these places. Okay, we got a Meyer Alert Queen, so hold on. This is the anti-tank anti weapon, the PTRS I used in the last episode. I'm just gonna bust it out here for this. Wow. Two shots on a Meyer Alert Queen. 
It's got this crazy ammo, though. It's like the, uh, problem-solving gun. Okay, anyways, I didn't want to try sh to fight that thing with this. It's a plinking pistol. I think that's it. Can I use it? Oh. That was it. The thing I just did, it's a really good mod that allows you to put, like, I sele selected 30. That means I can put 30 times the amount of objects in my settlement than, uh, vanilla. Very cool if you like to clutter up your settlements and make them look nice. But yeah, this is part of the rebuilt, uh, mod series. Rebuild some of these houses. Be cool. Because usually it's just like a shell of a house here, but, uh, we're not going to work on this right now. I, uh, that'll be for another time. Just wanted to clear it up since we were out here. The next place we're going is Wilson Automatoys Factory. I haven't been to Poseidon Energy yet either. I actually don't know if I've been here before. No, I haven't, obviously. Never mind. Um, I was just thinking, I think this is the place where if you bring Kiri here when she's still a robot or like a, you know, a Mr. Handy, Miss Handy. Actually, maybe even in once she's turned into a synth, but there's some unique dialogue here. She like gives you a tour of all the stuff. The, uh, factory. But here we got super mutants. This might not be the place I was thinking of. Someone's got a PTRS rifle they're using. Can hear that boom. So yeah, just what you expect from this mod, I guess. It's a little dinky pistol against these guys. If you shoot them a lot of times to make this work. There's a lot of uses in the action points. I think too fantastic, but I figured I'd show it. Since I was on a theme of showing, uh, using kind of World War One and Two and prior weapons mostly. Anyways, let's use something more substantial, shall we? Let's use the BAR. But you know, stock animation. Uh, sound effects could use a little beefing up. But this looks pretty well done. We all Someone in there's got one of these big death guns. Quick save, just in case. Got a quest, really? I've used the G11 before in videos. I had no idea it added a quest. A few of the other weapon mods I got recently have done that too. So, hold on. Find Joe's special HKK G11 K2. I guess it's in here. This guy's got a minigun. Oh, right. I forgot about this guy. Bed. There you go. BAR. Next up, M1 Garan. This is a oh whoa. This is a well done mod. I didn't see that. Ow, what the hell are you shooting me with? You're the one with the boom boom gun. Alright, let's bats him. And that ping though. Yeah, this one has a really good sounds model animation. Scoped hair trigger. There's a USP. Okay, I don't need that though. Got two of them on me. Alright. Yeah, you can put a bayonet on this too. 
but uh, I wanted to go without it. Rubber bullets, there you go. Like I was saying. Let me guess, it's in here. No use, not without a card. Automatoy's ID card. Please tell me there's one here and I don't have to go to the corporate HQ. Oh, fun. I still haven't been to the corporate HQ because, um... Well, I plan to. There's just... It connects to a few other things that I'm not ready to do yet. Or haven't felt like doing yet. Story-wise. Kind of lore side story. Shogun body armor? What? Hmm. I haven't seen that before, I don't think. Weird. Card. No notes, right? Check the roof real quick. Oh, it's a Brahmin. I think, uh... Hold on. Jump down. Oh. Oh. Who the hell is shooting me? Oh, I didn't even see you there. If only I could aim. There. Gotta get that ping. So yeah, the M1 Grand is a really well-made one, in my opinion. That grease gun that guy had, or, or lady had, I showed in the last episode too. Moving on. Let's try the Car 98. Got a bayonet on it. And let's also go in here. If you wanted to see the initial video where I used the G11, uh, it was called the, um, God damn it! I'm trying to remember what the episode was called. Massachusetts State House. It was just a few episodes ago. And there it is. This thing. Jack in the nice. box. <laughs> yeah, you. this is not an option in the um, mod menu for a paint scheme. That's for damn sure. Found one legendary. There are three more. Okay. Where shiny white weapons are tested. You mean in, okay, in the uh, institute. Defense contractor, this, okay, arc jet. A place where you go for medicine, your own little den. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. I just can't place it. Okay, well, something to do in the future. It'll probably notify us. Or maybe not, actually, since we did the quest. Okay. Enough speculation. Oh, I leveled up. Uh, hold on. Actually, I leveled up twice and haven't used my points. Lead Billy. Become in useful or be useful if I change to survival mode at some point in the future, but I really don't have Lone Wanderer. What? Why did I never get that? Okay, let's get this though. And we got one more point, so why don't we just. Oh, that has a lot of tears. Let's get one of the Lone Wanderer. Okay, so. We're not done trying out these weapons yet, so let's go over to Poseidon Energy. Run around Quincy. I've already been through Quincy and I've already done the uh, quest that leads us to the Peabody house, the kid in the fridge kind of thing. Back on the uh, McCready episode. Right now we're just tying up loose ends and trying out weapon mods. And what? Oh. Oh boy. This isn't good. Oh, come on, man. Should use a different reload animation. Stab it. <laughs> Useless. This is not a really good place to be using this weapon. But they're not doing a lot of damage to me somehow, so. Get rid of the weak ones. Yeah, the sound effect on this thing is not the best. Neither is the reload animation. I'm pulling out a non-existent magazine. You can put magazines in this, but this thing is an internal magazine. Okay, well, not terrible, but not um, not my favorite so far, anyways. Okay. 
that was that. Next we got the caravan shotgun. I've got like the uh, in between sawn off variant. It's like the pre-war paint job. Nice and shiny looking and the uh yeah, short stock. You can mod this one quite a bit. And of course, if you haven't played Fallout New Vegas, this was a gun in New Vegas. Hold on, on here, you can modify how it looks, so that's different. But yeah, this is a pretty good mod, honestly. It's well done. Sounds nice, looks nice, good animations. I like this one. I have a similar shotgun, in a way. That we'll do in a future video, the Kiapa Triple Threat, which is a three barrel shotgun, which is a real shotgun. And uh, it's pretty epic. But we're uh, using the old school weapons for the moment. We'll use the more modern ones next time, probably. Here we are. Don't remember what's here, to be honest. I will bet ghouls, though. Got a sign over there. Now ah, let's just unlock it. Actually, let's check around uh, outside first. Well, no, okay. Here we go. I can't remember if this is tied to a quest or not. One nice thing about this ENB is I don't really need a flashlight inside much anymore. It's really nice looking. Some ENBs make it super dark on interiors. I don't really like that. Sure to turn the turrets off. It was down. Let's go. Sub levels. Cool. Well. Nice. Read me. Okay. Don't touch anything. Use the roof access. We don't want this floor waking up too, Cuddy. Um, should we listen? I don't think so. Oops. Oh, it's raiders. I think they're gonna have some fun with. Oh, never mind. I'm going to be the one dealing with the robots. Oh, got too close there. and a screwdriver and a toilet. There's some kind of, kind of hidden message there I should know about. Other than the people that made this game have... game crashed on me. That's something that actually hasn't happened in quite a long time. Okay, we're back. That was weird. Pretty much the entire series, the game doesn't crash mid-game for me, even with the, a lot of mods. Uh, for me, it's like on the, the startup menu. Sometimes when you're loading or something, it'll just shut off for no reason. Sometimes a few times. But then afterwards, it's totally stable. It's weird. It's kind of weird. Okay, we're kind of cut off from the rest of this place out here. How do we get over there? Well, duh. Jump. Oh, this is where I was. Um, 
Forgot to kill that when I reloaded. Me. No? Oh, missed this. Go. Sweet. Take them drugs. Percentage. You got a full suit of greater armor. Okay. I don't know if I've shown this before, like I said, but let's just use it for a minute. It's a pretty good mod. Some of the variants of it uh, have really absurd upgrades you can do to him, but this one, the version I have. There's like the tactical and the experimental variants. That you can really heavily mod, but I didn't get those. I got the standard one. Come on, tough guy. Come on. Oh, you come on. Yeah, this one I like the, uh, Everything about it, the model, sound, textures. Okay. Take uh, that stuff. Alright. Have a look around at you guys' lair, see if there was anything worth seeing in there. Oh, we're not done yet, huh? Just looking for notes, terminals. Or things like this. And there's actually a bobblehead here too. Cool. Bingo. Awesome. I always wonder why I said glory here. And what the hell this all was. I think I seen a video where someone was trying to decipher that and it ended up just kind of being just nonsense. Maybe we can go up. Uh, what's over here? I heard you something up oh, there you are. Ew. That was a mess. I don't have any gore mods on. That's just Fallout 4. Oh yeah, I don't know what these decals came from. I can't remember. You can add them to armor and stuff. That goes to the roof. Certainly. Let's see what's back over here. I see. All right, we'll exit on the roof and see what we got. Hold on a minute. Or not. Here another one somewhere. Go back to one of these. Like this one. There you are. P. 
ping. You can reload it mid clip. Yeah, I was thinking there was more to this place. I guess it's just a raider stronghold. All right, well, we visited several locations. I've checked out all the guns. I've got a whole nother collection of them for next time. But I think next time we'll probably also try to do some quests and some other stuff. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for now. So see you guys next time. Take it easy.